Hey you guys, welcome back for another day of our January challenge. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got a little bit of a recovery style day today. We're gonna do a stretch and core. So the way that's gonna work is we're gonna do a stretch for 30 seconds and then a core move for 30 seconds. We might have a really brief in between just changing positions, uh, kind of transitional um, time between exercises. Uh, but no official rest except for in our stretches. So first and foremost, let's bring it over for a full sit up. <clears throat> All right, so for this one, we're gonna do a tall sit up. I want you to take those legs out long if you can. Um, knees bent and feet planted is gonna be our, a little bit easier of an option here, but legs long is gonna challenge us more. Let's take it back to that nice long spine. When we do this sit up, our arms are gonna come up over our head. We're not gonna just sit forward, we're gonna sit up as tall as we can and then we're just going to take a really brief right here and roll it down so it's a sit up hold forward and roll it down just like that 30 seconds in four three two one here we go up tall little stretch roll it down we're using our exhale to pull us up off of that mat so a nice big stretch up down and inhale as we roll back. Keep it on working. Awesome job, you guys. Less than 10 seconds. Our stretch for this one is just gonna be our forward fold. We're just gonna switch to holding that forward fold in three, two, one. Go ahead and just find that nice forward fold. Fingertips down towards those toes. Nice big stretch. Got our 30 second hold here. When we switch it up, we're gonna bring it over. Our second core exercise is our mountain climber. So we're gonna bring it over to that high push up plank position. We've got 30 seconds of our mountain climber, stepping or jogging those feet in towards those elbows. Holding this stretch for another three, two, one. Go ahead, bring it up and over. We're going right into our mountain climbers. Wrists underneath those shoulders, right here. Step or jog those knees in. Here we go, here we go. 30 seconds. keeping the shoulders over the wrists. We're dropping those knees down. We're not pulling those hips up to be able to fit those knees under. Keep working, you guys. Nice job. 10 more seconds here. Maybe pick up that pace just a little bit for this last 10. Up next, we're taking it into a half pigeon stretch. Mountain climber, three, two, one. Right foot. We're gonna set it underneath. Shin's gonna meet the mat. We're sinking into those hips. Now from here, you can keep those palms down. If you'd like a little deeper of a stretch, you can bring it down or down. 30 seconds here. Finding that exhale to sink a little bit deeper into this stretch. This can be kind of a, an uncomfortable stretch, but it shouldn't be painful. For four. Three, we're taking it back up to our plank in two. One, plant those hands, step it back. Here's our next core exercise. Plank to downward facing dog. Just a couple times, nice and easy here. Out and up and back, keeping it moving right like that. 30 seconds, here we go. Pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Activating the core, so not just pressing back with the shoulders, but pulling the hips up, pulling that core in. 15 more seconds to go here. Our stretch for this one is just gonna be that pigeon on that second side. Nice work, you guys. Four, three, two, one. Left side, pigeon, drop that foot down. Shin meets the mat. Top of that right foot meets the mat. Once again, choose your option. Once again, finding that exhale into this nice stretch. Nice. All right, next we're bringing it around for an oblique or a side crunch. We're going to bring that from our side plank position. So right here, go ahead and roll it over to one side. Lengthen that left leg. We've got our elbow down. We're keeping our spine nice and long. 
This bottom leg is on the floor. You can bend the knee if you want a little bit more support or lengthen it for a little bit less. Top leg is gonna float. We're gonna bend the knee and bring the elbow towards it, just like this for that oblique crunch. Now, if you want it up a notch, you can do it from that side plank position. Same thing, extending out, pulling it in. 30 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Awesome, keep it on breathing, whether those hips are up or down, we're pulling that core in, we're crunching towards that side, elbow towards the knee. Nice work, 10 more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Roll it over to our stomach. Our next stretch is a cobra stretch. So pressing either those elbows or those palms into the mat, the chest lifts, maybe a slight lift of the chin. Our fifth and final new exercise is just gonna be that oblique crunch, that side crunch on your second side. And we'll take it back to the top and go through one more time each. All right, awesome, let's make that transition to that second side. Again, same thing, you can do it from that low or that side plank position, knee bent or long. Here we go, three, two, one, here we go. Side plank or hip down, side crunch. Nice work, you guys. Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, and one. Let's take it into a child's pose for our last stretch. Knees wide, hips back towards the heels. Arms out long. Nice and easy finding your breath. Awesome, 15 seconds here. And then we're bringing it back over. We've got that tall setup up first. All right, right here, let's take it on over. Roll it over, tall setup takes us up long, and then that brief stretch. Three, two, one, here we go. Once again, using that exhale to carry you up towards the ceiling. Finding our long spine at the top. Maybe use those arms for a little more momentum if you need it, or a little less if you don't. Nice work, you guys. We're finding that forward fold as our stretch here in three, two, one. Go ahead, find our forward fold, 30 second stretch. So once again, up next, we've got our mountain climber getting ready to bring it on over. We're going right into it. Switching it up in four, three, two, one. Here we go, bring it over, knees in, 30 seconds. It's gonna be a little slower or faster depending on where you're at today. Keeping the belly button pulled in towards the spine. Keeping the lower back nice and long and strong and stable. 15 down, 15 to go. Nice work. Again, you guys, we've got our pigeon stretch up next in four, three, two, one. Right foot under, shin meets the mat, sinking those hips down. Fifteen seconds here. Once again, we're taking it to our plank to downward facing dog up next. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. Down dog to plank. Finding that front to back shift. Hips come nice and low. Way to work, you guys. Keep breathing. So 
switching to our pigeon on the other side in three, two, one, left foot pigeon, sinking those hips down, finding that stretch. Awesome work, you guys. The only two core exercises we have left are those last two oblique crunches. Nice, we're switching to that first side, oblique crunch, side crunch in three, two, one. Here we go, taking it over, knee towards that elbow. Again, you can do it from that side plank position if you'd like to with those hips up. Maybe move it a little slower there to keep your balance if you are. Nice work, you guys. Go and find that exhale. Three, two, one, over to our Cobra. Again, elbows can be down or wrists can be down. Finding that front side body stretch. All right, you guys, last core exercise here. We're taking it over to that opposite side for that oblique crunch, that side crunch in three, two, one. Here we go, here we go, 30 seconds on that last oblique crunch. Again, hip can be low or you can take it up into that side plank as your starting position. Way to work, way to work, keep moving here. We're almost there, almost there. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it over for that child pose for our final 30 seconds of stretch today. Coming back to that breath as we finish up, making sure that you're starting to slow it down, maybe resting the forehead on the mat allowing your lower back to release. We'll go ahead and release that in your own time. Three, two, and one. All right, awesome job, you guys. Thanks again for joining me for today's January Daily Challenge. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.